process it some more, dynamically create these web pages and send them back out to the web in a tenth of the time that it would normally take to write these applications. Sounds familiar, right? Well, we decided to look in our bag of tricks and pull out some familiar tricks. So here's what we did. Let's start with PDO, our robust dynamic object model. Runs on every computer by Sun, DEC, and HP, as well as 200 PCs, as well as, by the end of this year, NT. So it runs on everything. We can have a portable product if we start with PDO. Now, then what we'll do is, as you may know, last year, we announced a product called the Enterprise Objects Framework, one of our most profound pieces of technology. And what the Enterprise Objects Framework does is it allows you to make next step objects and with no programming have persistent and coherent storage with SQL databases. So you can go fetch data out of databases, you can keep it persistent in databases with no programming on the part of the developer. And we really think that saves a ton of time. Our customers tell us that. What we have now done is written a sister infrastructure product to EOF, to the Enterprise Objects Framework, and we call it the Web Objects Framework. Woof. <laughs> and <laughs> and what, e what WOF does is it does everything that EOF does for databases with the web. When HTML comes into the web, it automatically parses HTML builds a graph of objects and shoves the data in those objects. When you want to write something out to the web, it automatically takes objects and dynamically creates the web pages from them. To where the developer only needs to worry about the logic, the business logic, and they do not have to worry about SQL, nor do they have to know or worry about the web. They just drop their objects into this framework and everything just works. And so with this framework, objects don't have to know anything about the web, HTML, HTTP, nothing. They don't have to know anything about SQL relational databases. And because of PDO, they don't even need to know their location. Matter of fact, you can distribute these objects running on several machines as your web traffic increases. And so this is a major new framework for us, which we think is going to be very hot. And again, because PDO runs on all these platforms, web objects runs on all these platforms, we are in alpha on web objects now with some selected customers. We've just recently gone into alpha. We're going to be in beta in Q4, and we will ship this stuff in Q1. And remember that PDO and EOF have been shipping for a long time. And so the majority of technology in this product is existing, mature, robust, proven technology. So what I'd like to do now is try to show you a demonstration that captures the power of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an industry standard Netscape browser running on Windows NT. And we have written a web application with web objects. And our web application, we wrote this in about two days because we're still working with alpha code. It should have been possible to write this in a day, and we think it will be when the code is final. But this took us two days to write. And in parallel with that, about two days to make it pretty. Uh, that will not go down once we finish web objects. And so we, we borrowed one of our customers here, uh, Dodge, Chrysler's a, a big customer of ours, and we said, welcome to the Dodge virtual showroom, and here's all the cars that Dodge, ha Dodge has, and here's all the price ranges, and here's the different model types. And you can select by models or prices uh, or, or uh, type of car, and um, you can sort by model, price, or type, and then you can display the car. So let me go ahead and pick every kind of car they make, every price range, uh, this, and let me go ahead and sort by price, and I'll just say display cars. And this is going now over the network to an SQL database somewhere around here, I have no idea where, and it's showing me all the cars that uh, Dodge makes. So this is, uh, this is all the cars that they make. And this, this page was dynamically created on the fly based on my request, okay? So, you know, we could just stop anywhere here. We could, uh, let's, go, let's go to the top. And you know, I could pick one like a Dodge Neon, and it will show me about that car. Hmm? Right? So let's go back. And uh, I, I don't want to sort through all these cars, so I'm going to go back to the top here. And I'm just going to pick Neons, because I really want a Neon. And I'm going to pick maybe from, you know, maybe eight to $20,000. And all of, the, um, 
all of the options. And I'll say display cars here. And again, it's constructing this page on the fly. And as you see, there's a lot less cars now, right? So these are the neons. And I'll say, OK, I want to I pick a base model. So it brings me the information on that one. I can say, well, tell me about the colors. Well, I'm, I'm going to pick, you know, I, I want to be noticed. <laughs> so there we go. And um, this is a base four door sedan. So my base price is 9,500 bucks. Uh, options are zero. So I'm going to pick package B. So I'll go ahead and pick package B. And uh, it's going back. And actually, see, there was no, pa these pages aren't stored. They're being computed on the fly. And so uh, page B has been highlighted. It's been, uh, package B, I'm sorry, it's been added up here in the options to calculate a total. Uh, package 25B has been grayed out because I, I guess all that stuff's in package B. Uh, I'll pick package 25A, let's say, too. And now I'm up to like $14,390 for my under $10,000 car. Uh, <laughs> and now what I'll do is I'll say, well, I can't afford that. I better finance it. So I'll pick this little dollar bills up here for financing. And so what it does is it shoves all that into a newly dynamically constructed page. Um, for financing. So here's my, I get to type in my down payment, and I get to select whether I want 36 months at 5%, or I better pick 48 months at 6%. And what I'm going to do now is push calculate. Now, we did something kind of fun here. The web server is running on a Unix server, I think an HP server, a web object server is. And what it's going to do, it's going to do something fun. Remember, we have full OLE interoperability, right? And we have full distributed OLE. So here's what the server is going to do. This Netscape uh, client is going to message the web object server. The web object server is going to message this NT machine here with Olay and have it do the loan calculation and calculate how much, right? Look at this. On a completely different machine, calculate how much the loan should be, shove it back to the web object server, and then create this page on the fly and shove it back over the network to the web client. Believe me, there's like no other web so server software in the world that can even dream about doing this today. So this is incredible. Um, let's put a down payment here on it. Uh, maybe I can cough up like maybe 5,000 bucks. And uh, hit Enter. And uh, it should recalculate it. On, again, we're using three machines here, one of them running NT Excel, uh, one of them running NT in a web client and Netscape, and a third in HP running web objects. OK, here we go. And now, uh, let's go to dealers. And um, one of the dealers locally has this car in stock. It, again, that was all computed on the fly. Uh, but you know, it, I've got a weird color. Uh, so if I take away the color, uh, maybe there'll be more dealers that have that car. Sure enough, there are, if I, uh, if I don't have to match my, my lime green. So aesthetics do matter. Um, <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, let's go back. I can go step back through all these pages that I went through, because they're all stored in my web browser. And uh, this is web objects. We think there's nothing else that's even close. Web objects is going to be available on all of those platforms that run PDO. And uh, again, we're in alpha now. We're going to be in beta in Q4. And we will ship this stuff in Q1. And based on everything we've seen, it is going to be by far the most powerful advanced web server software available. And we think a lot of corporations are going to want to use it so that they can rapidly build these web applications that are going to get new products and services to their customers over the web. OK. Now. You've seen our future. Three things OpenStep, Dole, and Web Objects. What's interesting is these are not three random products. They have all been driven with a common vision, and they all work together. We just saw an example of that right there with Web Objects server messaging, Ole, Excel spreadsheet doing the loan calculations, messaging back. There's one common vision that has driven all of this stuff. And first, of course, we start out with our vision of objects, that objects can dramatically revolutionize the creation of software by a factor of 10.